I'm gonna make some chicken coops. And we don't really even need that much material. Today, some spare bits of foam, got some really thin pieces and some dollar store foam board, our X-Acto knives, some hot glue, and a little bit of Mod Podge and brown paint. I think that'll do it. And I'm gonna use one new thing today that I'll show you more when we get there, but I've made a roller that I got a file for online to do some wood texture. And this has really, really been speeding up my life. So we're gonna start out, I've got this shape and I want, I don't know what a real chicken coop looks like, but mine are gonna look like little sheds with, oh, one more thing, some mesh. I've been redoing my window screens and I have a bunch of extra. So we're gonna use this mesh from that as well. So like I was saying, I don't really know what a chicken coop should like look like, but the one I'm making is gonna mostly look like a shed with a slanted roof. And then I'm gonna put a little kind of doorway into it with that mesh. Get this cut here. I've already got a great shape to make an easy slanted roof out of this. Get that flat and take the paper off of here and just trace around it. We'll cut it out for the other side. Call it like this wide. We're only going up as high as this. I'll give myself a little mark. Right there. Like that. Then I'm gonna use this thinner foam for the roof of it. These will be able to stand up with that in the middle and I can curve this around. So we got one on each side and our front. And here's the new thing that I got. So I've discovered that texture rollers are absolutely amazing. This is my wood texture. And it's still perfectly fine to hand draw it, but I've been doing things so much faster using these. So we're gonna have wood going up on this side. They don't come out perfect. I do have this weird spot in the middle that I can't really see it because I printed it clear, but somewhere in here is a little flat. We're gonna have our boards going up and down. There's our outsides. I think this one's gonna go long ways. There it is. There we go. Got some texture. I think I'll just grab a, a little tool and I'll draw in these lines real quick. When I go back over it and roll it a second time, I seem to muddy up the detail. I'm not terribly concerned about it, so this will do just fine. There, that's filled in well enough for me. Then we're going to have our roof bit out of pink, thin sheets of foam. So I'm gonna go ahead and just roll out the line of it. I'm not sure how long we'll use. We're not gonna hurt anything with this, so. I'm not terribly good at getting it straight yet, but We've got a section. So I'm gonna take my center piece here and I'm going to cut a little window door hole. Come on. Pop that out. There we go, beautiful. I like that it's a little bit lower towards the bottom 
than the top. We're gonna get a mesh extra here. Just kind of, I want it to go over a little bit because we're gonna put kind of the surrounding to it, but let's just, there. Get a small piece to work with, then it'll be easier to trim down to size. Yeah, that'll fit right under a hole. I like it. Put a little extra off the end so nothing sticks out. So I'm gonna put a little uh, board around it as a trim. Yeah, I like them going up and down like this a little bit more. They are rectangular instead of square. So now we grab our hot glue. Put a little extra on there. I'm gonna make sure it stays kind of oriented how I want it, but it is cut more rectangularly, so it shouldn't be too hard. Get a little glue around. Stick that on. Well, that's already looking pretty nice. See, then we need to make our boards that go around it. So, just thinner. I think this piece that I have is thinner. And I did already roll out the boards, but now they're going in the wrong direction. So I'm gonna flip it over. I want them long ways. Like this. Yeah, so I'm gonna chop that side. Beautiful. Okay, we are going to trim off some boards for this uh, window frame. Make them pretty small. make two of them. There we go. They're a little frayed on the edges. But right now I think I like that. We want a kind of old worn down looking chicken coop. Something that's been there for quite a while. So I think I'm just going to glue these on and then trim them to size once they're down. We'll go in the time here. Just the front of line. Probably something better than hot glue for this if it doesn't get so thick. But I don't have that kind of patience. one side. The other one, use this in because it has nails in it. That seems decently even. this one to go in to here. Now these will fit, yeah, those will fit perfectly in there. We get our inside boards.
decided to cut it after I laid it down so I didn't have to try too hard to get the measurement right. Just tuck it right in there. There we go. That's nice. And now, I'll grab the square. We can glue the sides of our buildings together. Yeah. I think I'm gonna want them to come like this. That's on the front. So. chicken coop. Now we just need a roof. And that's what this one is going to be. So let's see. I want it to come down a little bit. That. To be a little distressed too. This one. Broken a smidge. This is a kind of thick piece. It's thicker than this other one we were using. Cracks are okay. They'll work for us. Glue along there. Side again. These are going so fast. Press it in for a moment. Turn up a little bit of my glue. Nice. Let's glue this back down. That looks pretty good. chicken shed. I think I want to stress this a bit. I think I want to do carefully, but rough, but turn this off. I'm going to give me something cool to look at. There. I wanted an old looking structure here. Just as light as seams every once in a while, where it's like these really cracked apart, kind of started to rot away. I don't want to go crazy with it. Just a few. Okay. That seems good. Now we just have to get it primed up. So grab a cat. That'll help. It'll be the most helpful part. Grab a messy 
Mod Podge and Paint Mix. Brush, I think I'm gonna need a little one too. back in if you have any of the spots that I shove my fingers in throw it on the floor that helps and then oh yeah cat hair my hair all the hair it adds character makes it better All right, we'll let this dry out and then we'll come back and paint it. It's looking pretty cool. This is a super easy one. It's going so fast. Brush some of that off. All right. That's better. I'll come back in about half an hour and see if it has dried. Okay, we have let this dry and it's time to get some paint on. I've got this territorial beige that I've laid out. I like this one a lot. It dries in a really dusty color. I'm just gonna coat it on some thin layers. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Let's see how it dries up. I'm not going to fully cover it. I'm going to leave a little bit of that black showing through. I like it. We've got ourselves a little chicken coop. Let's get a little under here. <coughs> little on the edges. There we are. We'll see if it needs any washes once it's dried. We'll come back and check on it or decide if we leave it just like this. Nice. Here we go, all painted up and I really like it. It looks good. I'm going to do a few more touches. I want to add just a little bit more gray to make it really feel old. It's nice dusty color. Let's see, I've mixed up just gray paint and water. Some terrible at dry brushing things. I don't really want to get it into the cracks. But I'm going to. I feel like a dry brush might be a better way to get this. Okay. 
but I don't want a super heavy gray to it. I'm going to do it like this, just those sun-baked spots over here. Got a lot over here. Let's just throw it around. See how many times I can drop this while I'm making it. Yeah, a lot of these spots that didn't get covered and they're more black than anything. And get some grays into there. I might have to go with a black wash to find some of my details again. Not really sure. It should be okay, I think. And if not, it's not going to hurt me to throw more washes on it. Let's get these to blend. That kind of wipe this off. See if I can pull some of this gray stuff out of the crack there. Yeah, that might dry up and look absolutely no different, but we'll find out. If I do need to, I can hit it with a black or a brown wash. There we go. Almost done. Welcome to the unfinished Abbey. With this, take off this top layer, is what the chicken coops have been built for. Ended up making four of them. Once I get a ground going, this will be pretty cool in here. I've got varying colors. I ended up doing a bit of a black wash in some spots. Here's the one I worked on that I did that little gray wash on, and here's a different one. They could both use a little bit of darkness to them, I think, in the um, cracks in between some of the boards, but you can tell it did make a slight difference having some grays in there. I'm shaky. They do add a lot to this set. It'll look really cool once it's all pieced together and actually has a ground to sit on. I do like how this part that cracked came out. It looks better than the just folded one on my other one. Coming along very nicely. Chicken coop, it's totally worth doing.